I don't know what the heck that was, but anyways, guys, I'm running behind today. It is already, I don't even know, what is it, like five something in the afternoon? It's like 5.20 and I have not even made a freaking video yet today. So I'm trying to throw something together real quick, guys. Gonna try to make it entertaining or funny or amusing or something. But uh, just had a really busy day with work and catching up on some other stuff. So trying to, trying to throw something together right now. We'll see what happens. What the heck? If you wanna come on over here, Zadok, we're gonna go through this list of the top things that you guys hate about my truck. I did a video on the top things that I hate about my truck. But I think your guys' list is just a little bit different and you guys always remind me every single time down in the comments below anytime you hear it or you're reminded of it so let's get right into it top thing you hate about my truck i get the most my bottom strip of tint every almost in every video there's at least one person who says get rid of that tint it's annoying me so bad i hate it it looks ugly every single time like you guys do not give any breaks on this tent you guys absolutely hate it some of you are like yeah i mean it's fine but some of you guys just make it known you freaking hate my tent that's up to you guys i guess but it's just one of the things that you guys hate about my truck another thing a lot of you guys hate about my truck now a lot of you guys are okay with it but there's also a long list of people that totally hate it they're like your wheels are not wide enough why didn't you get wider rims why didn't you get like 22 by 16 why didn't you get you know like 35 inch tires I'm trying to be more conservative with my builds, so like if I don't need to spend, you know, five grand on wheels because I get 22 by 16s or something stupid, um, then that's totally cool. Like I want my truck the way I want my truck. I'm trying to save money, but all at the same time build a truck and get the truck pretty much where I want it. And the wheels and tires is not a big thing to me. Like let's say I do complete body work and I get a paint job that I don't like. That's totally different. But when it comes to like wheels and tires, I can always, you know, in a couple months from now, if I want to, you know, get a different set to match the truck, just take these off, sell them to one of you guys, and then get a new set. So it's not a big deal. So let's get on to the third thing you guys hate about my truck, my tie downs. Now, I did not put these on my truck. This was the original owner's idea. He had these put on because he had a camper in the bed. And since he had a camper in the bed, they traveled all over the place. They always had, you know, that thing up in the bed. And so that's just kind of why those are there. And I get all the time, take those bed camper tie downs off. They're ugly, you know, grind them off, all this other stuff. Um, and to be truthful, they don't really bother me a lot. Let's say we got to take my cousin's dirt bike somewhere or my four wheeler, you know, whatever, and we want to use it as a tie down. Now there's stuff in the bed, but I'm just giving, you know, a random example. Um, you can always use it for something, but if I, if I cut them off, I'll probably wait until right before paint, cut them off real close here and try to have them do the body work to sand it down a little bit more and then paint the whole truck just so you don't notice it. Otherwise, if I just go grinding this stuff off, ripping these strips off and everything else and it's already been painted, it's gonna be a different color. It's gonna be really wore down under there and it's not gonna look good on the truck, you know, waiting up until I can get that, you know, afford to get that stuff done. My bumper, I get a lot of hate about my bumper in videos. Not not quite as much as the other things, but my bumper, bro, it's weight reduction. I don't know why everybody's so hateful on that bumper, bro. You can legit, sometimes I set my GoPro in there to get, you know, shots out the back. So, tow mirrors, whenever I leave them folded out on accident, like, there was a video where I had just got done towing a trailer because I was towing around a landscape trailer my mirrors were out. And you guys were like, get those freaking tow mirrors down. It looks so retarded. It's bothering me. Put them down. It's a freaking mirror, guys. Take like, geez, bro, chill. But anyways, that's something you guys hate about my truck as well. If I have to accidentally leave my mirrors up, you guys remind me every time. Get the freaking mirrors down, leave them down. I hate them, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's no slack. You guys make sure you guys get that taken care of. So... I leave them folded down most of the time. Actually, more recently, even a wild towing trailer, not because of that, but just because I just found that I don't really need them up for quite, you know, quite as many things. But let's get to another thing, how I overpaid for my truck. I get all the time, well, actually, most of the time when I first bought the truck, OMG, you paid freaking $9,500 for that thing? Like, why the heck? That truck goes for $7,000 in Cali blah 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 like you guys like not everybody but there's a couple of guys who like will make random statements like that how over in california my grandpa's cousins you know whatever gave me a steal on a truck so you pay too much for yours that doesn't apply to every situation every deal every state every you know town it totally varies and i've also had lots of guys say omg you freaking got a steal of a deal on your truck so it can go both ways but that's just something that a lot of people have brought up uh, more so in the past videos but I still get it here and there if they if they get wind of you know what I actually paid for the truck if I mention it last but not least come over here my buzzer 
you guys hate that buzzer. Every time it's in a video, you guys remind me about that. Anytime I make a video and I do a freaking clip when I've been in the truck and my buzzer starts going, you guys are like, dude, rip that buzzer out, rip the delete, you know, unplug that thing, whatever. Like you guys always bring up that buzzer. And I honestly, truthfully, I don't like it either. It's kind of annoying. I got in today and I actually turned the key and the thing didn't even start buzzing. So it was kind of cool. So um, that's probably going to be getting put to an end here soon. I don't really care for the buzzer either. But this video is just to be focused on what you guys just like about the truck, what you guys bring up the most. And that's definitely on the top of the things that you guys mentioned. So I definitely wanted to bring that up. So everybody, that is going to wrap up this video on the top things that you guys hate about my truck. Now I've done, like I said, I did a video a little ways back there. Um, and it was the top six things or five things that I hate about my Cummins. And this is the top things that you guys hate about my truck. And there's definitely a good list there. And the list grows every day as soon as you get, I mean, when your crowd grows, your audience grows, there's more haters and there's more people that just are actually good, loyal supporters, but they have no problem reminding you of the things that they dislike about the truck. So definitely something I wanted to bring up in case there's some of you guys out there, a few thousand of you guys out there who haven't heard or read, read those comments yet definitely a good list of them there and there's a lot more i'm sure i'm going to get as the build goes on about how they don't like this or they don't like that or you know list will just go on and on and on about you know things as i change up on the truck also i just wanted to say something really quick i ordered a new parts for my truck today i spent 650 dollars on mods for the truck i got a fourth gen bumper with fourth gen second gen fourth gen um, bumper brackets i got a new rear bumper because my rear bumper shot I got my cal, uh, not Caller Dalpin, Killer Dalpin kit. That was 80 bucks for the truck. Something I definitely wanted to get done. And I ordered my new tow mirrors as well, my new fourth gen tow mirrors. So, on the topic of tow mirrors, probably not for the guys that hate them, for those guys who love tow mirrors, but for those of you who love tow mirrors, these are going to be for sale very soon. There's nothing wrong with them. There's a little, obviously, they were painted. You know, this section was painted white, but they can all be painted back to black if you want, or if you want them to be black and white like they are that works too um, but anyways that those are going to be for sale so when i get them when i get my new ones installed here in a few days i'll be putting these in the box that the new ones came in and putting them on my little store and leaving a link down in the description when they're up and you guys can you know basically first come first serve i'm not holding them for anybody whoever can get them they're yours and same with the bumper when i get my new bumper um this original second gen bumper will be up for sale as well and it's a pretty good bumper. There's a couple little spots for the plastics bowed, just a little bit. Um, but for the most part, the bumper's in really, really good shape. So that's definitely going to be up for sale as well. Like I said, as soon as the fourth gen bumper comes in, same as the tow mirrors, I'm going to set this down in there after I wipe it all down, set it down in the fourth gen box, and ship that out to whoever buys it. So lots of stuff coming up on the truck, lots of videos coming. Just wanted to get this video out here. Thought it would be a little bit good to update you on the build as well as give you something a little bit something here to laugh at or criticize a little bit more. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new and I will catch you in the next video. Doing what I love, going day to day But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting Sometimes I contemplate Cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright Live a normal life, do a 9 to 5 But I know I'm more than that I gained this skill, wasn't born with that At the end of the life, it's a memory